Hello, welcome to More Than Organized Monday. I'm Miriam, and today we're going to be talking about perfectionism and procrastination. And, um, you know, we've all heard the topic or the saying, better done than perfect. But what does that really mean? And what if you're struggling with either or both? Um, that's the dilemma. And I'm going to talk to you about some ways to reframe that a little bit. It's something I struggle with frequently. Um, I'm very good at figuring out what's good enough to put out there in the world, but I'm often interrupted um, by, um, I guess they're physical issues or environmental issues that throw me off my game. So some of you know, I suffer from a uh, kind of mild ADHD, but I do have it. And I, ha I get migraines and headaches fairly frequently. And so sometimes my best efforts to get something done, um, even if it's not perfect, are hindered by kind of physical situations or um, if the weather's crazy, like it was last week, I get a headache for two or three days that's mild, just enough to make me cranky and not in the best frame of mind to do certain work. So what, what can we really do to help get things done anyway? Um, so let's talk a little bit about what, what perfect is and what done looks like and how to balance the two, right? So perfection is when um, you put things off because you need all the things to do it right. You need all the time and space in the world to get it done, to fine tune it, to reframe it, to rearrange it to double check it, to have 30 people's input, um, the fine tuning could go on forever. Or it can also, and or, it might be that you feel like you need more knowledge before you can start. I don't know enough yet to, to begin that. Um, I'm gonna have to take these 12 other classes before I can even think about doing something like that. That's where perfectionism is the hindrance, right? That um, feeling of not good enough or don't know what I'm doing or all the stars have to align before it can even happen. That's when it can become a problem. And then done also has some drawbacks. So that better done then, it really has to be established what your good enough is before you do a thing that requires a lot of effort and you're going to put out there into the world. Um, and I'm not by no means am I saying don't be afraid to look foolish or um, not exact on certain things, but what what's enough, like your minimum viable product to get out there, your minimum viable effort to do something like take something simple. Like, are you not doing your dishes because you don't have your favorite brand of dish soap? And you may need to learn how to take off that extra baked on residue before you even start doing the dishes? Or are you just going to throw some soap in the sink and go ahead and do it? And that's good enough. However, it comes out and you can learn more about it later or in the process of, well, that doesn't work On to the next iteration, right? It can be something as simple as that when you look at it. But what, um, so I think of done as when you creatively use what you have on hand and set aside the uninterrupted time to actually do the work. And that a version of what you're working on is enough to iterate from. What's that good enough that you can then iterate and, and improve in the future about whatever it is you're doing? Does it have to be perfect this, the first time? No. Should it be excellent? Yes, but sometimes the first one is not, it's just a draft. So think about that as well. When can you get away with a draft for the first effort? Let's just talk about version 8.0 of my website and the draft that it still is. It's a continuous ongoing editing process, just like organizing your home or your office. Um, the other piece about done is that you believe you can learn as you go. You can get to a point where you're stuck and then you learn that next step in that process. You understand that you'll be able to fill in the details as and when needed, right? And when done isn't perfect, 
is when these interruptions happen, when these interferences happen. Um, so it doesn't happen as often, but I used to get, um, I suffer depression as well. And every once in a while, something would rock me back and I would just not be able to get out of bed for a day or I didn't want to talk to anyone that day. Just some of those mild um, symptoms that would that would hold me back from finishing something. So deadlines for me go out the window, especially when they're just deadlines with myself. And then I can beat myself up for feeling like I wasn't perfect in my just getting it done option, right? I wasn't trying to be perfect in the first place, but I missed a deadline. So now I feel bad about it. And, and how do you avoid doing that, right? How do you give yourself some grace and figure out a recovery plan? So it took me a while, but now I do. I know when I'm having that fight with myself, it becomes even harder to get back to work on the thing that got interrupted or interfered with. And so I have a recovery plan where I literally give myself an extra, depending on the project, an extra bit of time. So sometimes it's a day, sometimes it's a couple hours, sometimes it's a week, depends what the project actually is. Um, but I just give myself an extension and say, it's okay. The timing wasn't great. This time I'm gonna do it and it's gonna go smoother and things are gonna come into play, uh, fall into place and it's gonna be perfect this time, at least excellent even if it isn't perfect. So just consider that. Take a look at when you are hesitating to do something or finish something or put it out in the world and see which of these areas. Are you trying to be perfect? Are you just trying to get it done and you're going to have to redo it later and not really save time? Or is there an actual external force that that's keeping you from doing it and by just reframing the timeline of it, you're going to be happy with the result? soon, very soon. All right. I will see you next week. And in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe, like, follow, share, notify, turn your notifications on and tell all your friends because all this stuff is funner when we do it together. And in the meantime, have a delightful day.